Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Nobody Wants to Die. Last time we finished up in the crime scene, hopefully put things back the way they were, because uh, the feds were on their way. Made our way back to our apartment, took a nice shower because of all the toxins in the air, because of air pollution, especially thousands of years later. Hundreds of years later? Hundreds of years later. Um, and uh, we got Sarah on the call and through AR, uh, we kind of pieced what we think happened together for a report and uh sarah kind of freaked out when we mentioned the the flask with the snake on it uh because we stole it without letting her know about it don't know why we did that but we did and yeah we're just picking right off where we left last last episode um do i do this again hi james Calling unofficially, not as a boss, but more like. Uh, yeah, money. yeah. You were gonna okay. hang us out to dry last the time. Documents you found at Green's place. You know it wasn't anything significant, right? Yep. Seriously? You mean to tell me that Green kept documents that mean nothing on his desk the day he died? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying, and you better damn well understand it, James. Listen. I just need to be in certain, you know, relationships to keep my finger on the pulse, to react, and so on. And so on. Sure. What have you done with them? I wish I, I wish there was an option to lie, because that motherfucker was going to leave us out to dry with the feds. I wouldn't take anything from a crime scene. Really? You couldn't take care of them? to do everything myself. And remember, I'm waiting for the report. Mm. I hear people screaming at each other. Okay, so I guess we're sending the flask to, um, yeah, the, the bottle. We're sending it to Sarah. Your Herm code? Nine, seven, fucking six. Around Liberty Island, huh? None of your business. Everything was in Sarah's hands now, which was neat since my own hands were shaking in a delirium I inherited after some punk I've never known. And one more thing, in the meantime, please send that damn report. What about evidence analysis? You got evidence illegally, and you want to put it in an official report? Uh... I mean, the chief doesn't seem too big on morals, regardless. I mean, he's been telling us to put the to say this was a suicide, after all. All right, I'll send the report. Um, I really want to hold off because, look, I know that like, um, can I pause it? Yeah. Just in case, like, time runs out or something. The way I'm trying to play this in my head is, like, yeah, like, the Sam Spade, the fucking, uh, the Bogart kind of uh, detective. Um, I really want to play that kind of guy that's, like, super by the book, that has, like, well, okay, not super by the book. Un like, morally questionable, right? But heart's in a good place. Um, this, I, obviously this is going to bite me in the ass one way or the other, and whether I put in the report or not that I stole something. If I, if I stole, if I wrote that I stole something, then they're going to be like, why did you steal it? If I didn't put in the report, they're going to say, why didn't you put in the report? You know what I mean? I'm fucked either way. Which way I'd want to be fucked is the question. 
let's send the report. Well, oh, whoops. I'll send it as is. Maybe we'll find something else later. Or we can just pretend none of this ever happened. A complicated and unfortunate accident in which Icarite... Damn it, what am I doing? A specific fraud theory that doesn't quite... Wait. Enough. Numerous clues indicate the involvement of third parties. Suicide or accident is excluded. I did it anyway. Light a cigarette. We don't have Nobody an option. Nobody sticks their head outside anymore. As if they wanted to believe this ugly world does not really exist. Huddled in their little flats over the few cents they managed to save towards a new body. Never asking themselves whether the survival instinct makes the urban rats happier. Or is this only the selfish genes? Free riding on the suffering of subsequent generations. Other alien forces exploiting their drive towards self-preservation. Their desperate struggle to stay alive a little longer. Desperate struggle that even Green has eventually lost. These people are probably easier to control, but Green? He was one of the controllers. The person who whacked him was no ordinary citizen either. No way. James, are you in front of the board? No, I went out for a breather. That sample, you were right. It's definitely poison, but that's not all. There was a fragment of a print on it. I managed to reconstruct it and search the database. Whose print is it? So, who does the print belong to? It's a damn big fish. Slippery, too. Oh, you're gonna make me beg? What's the fucking name? I don't wanna say right now. Somebody on the street might overhear. I sent you everything by snail mail. Let me know as soon as you get it. I'm having deja vu. You know what's funny? In a... In a world like this... Would you want to keep on living? Like, yeah, it seems cool. Like, you know, towering heights, like, as... Ooh. Blimps, flying cars, shit like that. Seems cool, right? But at the same time, it's like... Life is... Is life even worth living at this point? You got nothing left of nature. I bet these are the dead politicians. Oh, shit. Every penny snatched away from the citizens. I bet they're all celebrating. Uh, bl blimp down. Something happened there. Is it going to crash in anything? Doesn't look good. Hmm. Anyways. Alright. Like, I'm not saying I'd want to, like, off myself, but it's like, is it worth bringing yourself back to life over and over and over and over and over and over having to keep paying having to keep paying for it to live in a world like that uh where am i going here the deadly poison is atropine okay great dimitri kovalev there you go Liquid sample analysis, atropine harmful for Icarus, right, yep. Alright. It was Kovalev's fingerprint on the murder weapon, huh? I 
can do it. You still think we can't clear this one? I wouldn't start celebrating yet. We'll never get to him. He basically never steps outside Icarus. But you do believe this is a murder now? Well, yes. But... Special announcement. Engine problems have been reported aboard Icarus, which is currently flying over Brooklyn. We ask residents of the borough to stay at home and shelter in place. There is no need to worry. Insurance for bodily injuries will be fully applicable. Well, it finally crashed. James, did you hear the announcement? I even felt it. Damn, are you that close to it? Are you alright? <sighs> the newsfeed said it crashed into a building and that it's about to fall into a chasm. Yeah. We can't pass up a fucking golden opportunity like this. Pass up a go- No, wait, James, are you crazy? Too late, bye! Oh, I want to go outside and see it. The bar was named Icarus and met its end fittingly. I didn't have time to savor the irony. An impossible chance to get Kovalev has just fallen out from the sky into my very lap. Or at least my very neighborhood. Are we assuming he was on it? Are we in the Icarus? James, are you hearing this? Fire department on site. Ambulance is in 13 minutes. Secure the area. Do not go inside. I say again, do not go inside. Sounds like good advice. All you sons of bitches in Brooklyn, hold your positions. And get the crowd pushed back before it comes down on top of them! Sarah, mute this channel. What? You allergic to orders? I guess I am. We gotta take a leak. The hell is this? Why can't I see it? Is it still loading in? The enemy of prosperity. Oh, booze. The booze. Wow. Frame rate has dropped quite significantly. I uh, just said turn on the graphics uh, on this. Um, didn't we see this already? Yeah, we saw this in the first episode. Al Alethia? Uh, 111.1 FM. Government authorized. Aware citizen, aware society. Okay. Wow. It seems they didn't wait for the gravity to do the killing. Swell. I prefer to interrogate corpses. Their deaths tell me more than their lies would. James, hey. evacuate whoever you can and get the fuck out of there. <sighs> Little late for that. See for yourself. Curse bar. Oh shit. What the fuck? Good question. Help me identify Kovalev. I bet his corpse will open right up if we ask it all nice-like. Is Kovalev among the victims? At least it sheds some light on the matter. Take these pictures. The fuck?
How about this unicorn guy? Seriously? No, it's not him. <laughs> How about this one? That's not him either. Kovalev is fatter. Hmm. Didn't I take off the motion blur? I'm very sorry, guys. Motion blur. Oh, it was low. Off. Oh, much better. I hate motion blur. Maybe this one? No resemblance whatsoever. Shit, I can't find it. Moving on to reconstruction. James, we don't have time. Sarah, I'm going to find out what happened here, full stop. Understand? <sighs> okay. Sure. Fuck. What about this guy? I got a gun. Alright. Where's our... Reconstitutor, Recombinator, whatever the fuck it was called. Here we go. Reconstructor. Everything blown to shit. What a loss. Don't worry, I'm sure everyone here can afford new bodies. Fuck them. I was talking about the booze. Eh, uh, I can't see shit. Um. Where is it? Oh, it's back there. Jesus Christ, I can't see shit. Go back. So somewhere here, where is it? There it is. Smashed on the outside. The contents should have survived. Shit, do you recognize this? Same, it's the screen. same number, yeah. Wonder what's inside. James, don't even think we have to reconstruct the lock. Insufficient data. Fuck. That's as far back as it'll go. So we don't know what caused the explosion. Not yet. James, if Kovalev finds out, this whole place is about to fall apart and take Kovalev's secrets with it. I'm not about to let that bastard get away from me again. Hey, if you fall, I'll say you acted alone. I'm fucking serious. Fine. Jesus, Sarah. Let's get to work. So much... Like, Big Brother must really be, like, in full effect in this future. Like, everyone's so fucking afraid of their... Of, like, their jobs, I guess, with Sarah and the Chief and all that. Like... Politicians, I guess, eh? Kneel down. Ugh, what a horrible way to die. Sure fire. He's gonna have such a phobia. Just the sight of a match will make him piss himself. And he'll never light a cigar again. Or, or can go the opposite route. Yeah, still nothing with this guy, um, and have a uh, have a fetish for it. He runs like clockwork. Do you recognize him? John Park. The third one in the photo with green. Oh, wow. The main shareholder of Demmer? <sighs> Fucking Demmer. So. You 
use x-ray. Come on. What am I searching for, though? Oh, here we go. Ribs completely crushed. Multiple minor injuries. He's covered in some kind of flammable shit. What does it look like to you? Something exploded right next to him. Concussive force broke all his bones. Intense heat set him on yeah, fire. That's what shit. I was thinking too. The poor bastard really suffered. Yeah, well, suffering's nothing new. Especially for people who eat Demer food. But Can you find the source of the explosion? As long as this shit glows under UV light, yeah, I think so. Okay. Use UV lamp. Ammonium sulfate. Looks like the center of the blast was in this lounge. Holy shit, the guy flew. Time to check on Park's friends. What was... huh? What'd you say? Nothing. Just that we better get a move on. Martin Roy, the owner of the New York Liberation Stadium? Shit. He seemed like a decent guy. You knew him? Nah, not really. He shook my hand a few times in the old life, that's all. Okay. What is a scarf. This? I saw this pattern somewhere. You know, from the photo? From a speed camera? Uh, it's a scarf. But, yes, indeed. Um, Jane Salma had a similar one. Similar? Identical? Uh-huh. But, uh, it's just a scarf. Besides, there's... There's no sign of Salma's presence? No. Not yet. And who are you, sir? Weird. I can't read the Icarite. Destroyed? Doesn't look that way. I just can't access it. So he knew before they did. see a code on the hand. Will you check it? Expensive bodies don't usually have those. Could have been a recent purchase, maybe? Just hadn't gotten around to removing the serial number yet? Huh. Weird. It's unregistered, but the body was bought by Phalanx for... Holy shit! For four million bucks? Way too pricey for a bodyguard. Sarah, meet Mr. Miller. You think that's the owner of the company? Not only that. Arms dealer, smuggler. Don't bother looking in the system. You won't find anything. This asshole works for the government. So much is going on. Got some documents. I don't believe it. Do people like this always keep secret papers just lying around for anyone to see? I mean, who else is here? Looks like the law on lowering the age of free subscription is just the beginning. What? They want to make it even lower? Mm. And add tons of taxes. I'd say it's a long-term plan. Have they gone fucking insane? They can't do that!
All right, the minimum to maintain the proposed plan of the Royal Games is 75% financing from the city budget. The rest will be collected from private shareholders and members of the foundation. Profits will be slit, split 50-50. Up to and including 2,350, an increase of 15-20% to 20 in body subscription is a must. Proposition increased by 1-1.5% to 1 per year. CTC may accept an additional 5% fee on every body bid but only if handled by by way of a separate crisis management fund held by Park and Boyle. In any other case, 2% is a minimum. Depending on social perception and the national economy, the proposal to lower the uh, free body subscription cutoff to age 19 by 2370 should be carefully considered. Subsequently, the next 30 years will show us whether it's possible to go one step further, ultimately lowering the cutoff age to 18. Why, why stop there? Just 10, 10 years old? The moment they're born. Just pluck the brain from them, and there you go. Body. Now you can be born as an infant. You can be the smartest baby in the world. Okay, Roy was planning to distract the crowd. Roy was planning the games. Did you read about that? He wanted to distract the crowd. Miller was probably supposed to protect the rich. Someone sure fucked those plans up. Oh, just breaks my heart. I wouldn't say fucked up. Delayed, maybe. But you know sooner or later they'll resurface in new bodies. At least it ought to take them a while. <sighs> right. Well, in any case, the longer the plan takes to get started, the better it'll be for the rest of us. Still not done here. Okay. Motherfuckers. Whoever blew them up may have had a point. You got that right. So what happened before the barks was just so we did this one, right? This one's done. Check out this what do you guy. think? You were skewered. Today's special. Skewered asshole. Get it? Get what? He was impaled. Ah, forget it. That much force? I didn't stand Holy a chance. Fuck. I mean, look how far through him it went. I can't see shit. So it has to be down here. Whatever I'm looking at. Oh. These shards came from someplace else. Icarus must have been losing altitude. Where's the, uh... Oh, it's all the way down. Until he finally hit the neon sign. <sighs> the ads in the city are deadly effective. Uh, uh -huh. James, I'm begging you. Want, 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 want. He's got something on his neck. Check Those it out for me, would you? It's, huh, one of ours? Agent from the department. How the fuck did he get in here? Jealous? Yeah, a little.
Gunshot wounds. Okay. Now I envy him less. So, gunshot wounds? He came from this side, bleeding heavily. The marks will be visible under UV. Thanks, detective. What do you make of this wound? Adrenaline's a hell of a drug. The blood trail leads all the way to the lounges. He must have come from there. Oh. Hi. Got a hit in the air. Had a hard landing. What am I looking for? Where did the victim come from? Oh, we oh, got shot in the leg. Tough guy. He kept his cool. For all the good it did him. Serious leg injury. Let's see where he jumped from. I mean, we saw him. He jumped from up here. Ouch, is fucked up. Is this more of the undercover's blood? Nah, he would have bled out. Must belong to the guy next door. Check the DNA for me. No data available. Shit. That's gotta be some big fish. I'll take photos. We'll identify him later. A lot of big fish in, uh, in this Icarus. What is that? A brand name? Could be. Or maybe somebody's initials. Nailed him right through the head. The shoes. Uh, and then this. Damaged. Someone shot through the suitcase lock. I'll check for ballistic trajectories. The side of the bar erupted in a hail of hot lead. Turned the lounges into Swiss cheese. Into what? Eh, people used to talk like that. I heard in some movie. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. You're a movie buff. I love how like one thing just leads to another. Like, we were following that guy. This guy got scared, and we got all the way here to this guy. They sat there in the lounge, all cloak and dagger and hushed tones, until the spray of bullets caught them flat-footed. He managed to scram. Agile body. Fast reaction time. Grade B. Maybe even A. Where did he get the money for that? I mean, again, we're in a blimp full of bigwigs. The bullet turned his brain to mush. It'll take years to reconstruct his Icarite. James, can you get into the suitcase? I thought it couldn't be destroyed. Okay. Lock works. Let's see. Ooh. At least we know where he got the money for that hot rod body. Why is our agent neck deep in this? What's his fucking deal? 
I've seen that agent before. Hey, I remember that agent. From Rachel's case. James. No, no, listen. If he's the guy hired to do the dirty work with Rachel, then he was up to no good here, too. We really don't have time for this. Right, right, okay. I'll haul ass. I don't think we'll get any more out of the Swiss cheese lounge. Let's move on. You've never been tempted to... No, no, put it down! Yeah, yeah, uh, just asking. Okay. And then there's this guy left. There's blood. I'll turn on the UV lamp. Kovalev's prints are everywhere. Well, it is his bar. Looks like he spilled a few Bloody Marys, so to speak. Let's follow the trail. The traces lead here. Some unidentified substance. Same one that set Park on fire. Mm. Kovalev started walking from this spot. Bleeding like a faucet. Maybe even more than that dead you see. The fuck? Someone shot him? Who shoots a bartender? Only a lunatic would shoot a bartender. They're an endangered species. I'll figure out where the shots came from. Got the latest generation? One that picks up the trajectory of bullets? Relax. I'm old-fashioned, but I make exceptions for toys that make my job easier. I I need to I need to move guys there Yeah, it's that guy up there. The attacker shot from the stage. Any thoughts on who did the shooting? Yeah, that guy. Got a dead guy here who'd make a decent suspect. He's great at playing a dead guy. Really in character. The caliber matches the gun fired. Is it him? He shot Kovalev before he got hit himself. Yeah, so who got him? That's what I've been wondering. you check the DNA? Bodies assigned to a user named Edmund Christo Basmond. Fucking who? Who the fuck is Edmund Christo Basmond? He works for Phalanx. <laughs> Miller's livestock. Hmm. He fired four shots before he fell to the ground. But only one hit Kovalev. Why was a security guard shooting at Kovalev? Good question. Something provoked him. He must have been startled to have such shitty aim. So let's head back down there.
Where's the... Where's the bubble? We just continue with him. Straight in the Icarus. Oh, there we go. Whoever tapped him was a fucking excellent shot. So now the question is, who? Exactly. So long, Edmund Christo Basmond. <sighs> How can we connect it all? Well, trajectory? Ballistics points to Kovalev opening fire on the guests. I'll check around the bar again. So we've had two murders with the Icarite. When all along we've been hearing that it's impossible. In two days we've had two murders. Shells. 45 caliber. No shit. That's what I figured. Kovalev used the Tommy gun. Nothing like the classics. That is... Definitely... That is a cool looking Tommy gun. Don't know what the wires do, but... Bro, I love your mustache. Um... Okay. Why'd he shoot his own people? Had to do with Green, I guess. First he took out Green, then he got to the rest of his gang. Turned against his own. It started with Kovalev. First, he served a cocktail he'd whipped up himself. He treated the next guests with a hail of bullets. And finally earned a bullet himself from Oscar Wino Edmundo. Oscar Wino? Kovalev gave as good as he got. In the end, he finished off the crooked UC. It's all just so unnecessary. Necessary or not, in the end, the neon got him. He got hit hard. We're lucky. You know what they say follow the trail of blood. Nobody says that. I say it a lot. <clears throat> there we go. I was right. Time to break out the UV lamp. I mean, I don't know We've why we just follow that in the first place. The trail leads to this guy. We've got Kovalev's prints on the handle of the knife. His injured arm too. It wasn't just his drinks that had a kick. Who's the knifer? His Icarite's cut. I'll check the blood. Another one of Miller's bodyguards. Seriously, where does he get these guys? Nice display of bravado. I bet he was in the army. You don't get reflexes like that just from a body. It takes training. Years of it. I'd also say he had to use the knife. 
because I think by then he'd lost his gun. The impact knocked Kovalev off balance. He dropped something. Is that a stick of dynamite? Something new. Yeah. You think he blew himself up? Nah, I doubt it. How much did he have? following the trail of blood again you know like they say you're supposed to uh, i can't wah, 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 wah. hey you know what at least there's a lot of levity in this game um okay so it goes here he really didn't like this job All this just to find out what caused the bar to fucking explode. Oh. Well then. Why didn't he blow himself up sooner? Good question. Let's find out. That is a power pose if I've ever seen one. Here, you got hit again. Kovalev got shot a few times, but he kept going. The reconstruction's complete. Get the safe. Oh yeah, true. Why did he want to blow himself up here? You already have all the data. Open the fucking safe before it all collapses. Roger that. Where does it go? Work again. Is it a real scotch? Are you crazy? Go. I'm gonna leave the bottle. Rest in peace. <laughs> it's a card. There's something on it, but without any data. You're out of time. Take what you have to take and run. Wait, there's something else there. There's no time. See this? Green wrote to Kovalev. Ah, uh, I see. Now do you want to be scraped off the pavement? Right, I can think of better ways to spend the evening. Could Green and Kovalev have been working together? And why did the fucking bartender want to blow himself up in this particular place? What was he hoping to accomplish? What the fuck? Sarah, are you there? Who would have thought? that the fly that was buzzing over Green's corpse would get stuck on Icarus. Can't find a window to fly out of. You think you're a spider, huh? And I suppose you're the spider, huh? No, but there's one nearby. Buzz yourself around the ripest corpse. The one you missed. 
Which corpse? You'll need to be more precise. There are several corpses here. Close to Kovalev. Close enough to take him out with an explosion. Time could be the net the bastard was trying to trap me in. I had to act fast. Oh. Looks like a big wig. Did you find him? What kind of shape is he in? Dead. Just a temporary state for big wigs like him. Unfortunately. Why did Kovalev want to he kill him so from the badly? Explosion. Why was Kovalev so determined to kill this guy? He almost got away, didn't he? Do you recognize him? Wait a minute. George Boyle, CTC director. From the rotten family that invented the Icarite. His hmm. signature was on the documents from the lounge. He and the others found a way to strip the poor of their bodies to pad the pockets of rich assholes. He's just another dead asshole to me. What do you want? You have a unique chance to get justice. Desynchronize him. Buy some time for the poor people. Think that's justice? You think it's justice to desecrate an Icarite and a corpse? Yes. If you shoot him through a Zikarite, he'll suffer. And more importantly, no more body taxes. It will take months, maybe years, before he gets back on his feet. You gave time to people who really need it. Oh, man. No, I'm not going to shoot. Uh, this isn't right. And what is right? Thousands of souls that will go to the memory bank? You can buy them time. Just pull the trigger. And it's giving me another chance. No. <laughs> Really? No guts? Who are cops here to defend? People like Boyle? Or innocent folks? This is a chance for some justice. And again! No. As much as I was saying this is not a world worth living in, this is not the kind of person I want to be. I want our character to be. Are you on their side? What, they brainwashed you? Come on, pull the trigger. Come on! Fuck you. I'm nobody's puppet. Yes, you are. They own you. Ah, James, can you hear me? It's about to go down. You've got to get out. Oh, shit. James, you have to get out of there. Jump in the damn car. Icarus is about to go down. Almost. I bet my not-so-great body on a great hand, and damn was I right. Instead of dead, I was ahead for once, and ready to break the case of the century. Hey, Chief. Did you hear they served scotch with lead at Icarus? I didn't hear anything. Especially not from you because you weren't fucking there. I got some evidence. Ties to green. Rock solid. Fuck. First you send me that bullshit report, and now you got evidence. You listen to me right now. You weren't there. Understand? And we're not talking now, either. In fact, 
I haven't spoken to you since the accident. Got it? Chief. Nope. That's it. I'm pulling you off this case. Steiner, out. Well, fuck you too, Steiner. Crusty old bastard. Why do you have to throw me off the case? Okay. I'm actually going to stop here as much as I really want to keep going. Uh, but this, again, I, I managed to take these episodes to... Uh, they end up being longer than I anticipated because I'm, like, hooked. And I want a good point to, like, end each episode. Um... And yeah, this seems like a good, uh, good place. Uh, I don't know who the stranger is, because all our suspects are dead. They all died on Icarus. No idea. Um, but clearly, it, it has to do with the, um, the, uh, the what is it called? Like the body subscription or payment or whatever the fuck they uh, they're calling it. It clearly has to do with that. But what these guys have to do with it, that's the other thing. Like what? How are they trying to... Like, they got rid of Green. Fine. But were they also trying to take out, like, the, the CEO of the CTC? Like, the guy who's in charge of the whole thing? That's interesting. And I wonder if, like, the game would have ended right there. Or, like, at least been, like, a soft ending, you know? But regardless, that's not the kind of character I want to play, and I hope that's not the kind of character you'd want to play too. But hey, let's be honest. I'll probably, I'll probably play this again at some point with like different, uh, the different paths. Anyways, guys, uh, I really hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.